All right, so we're looking at the average rate of return, all right? Basically, we're just looking at the, type, the profits our investment is going to be giving us, all right? So we have the question here, it says, Salamano PLC has to make a choice between two models of machines, F and Z. You are required to assist management to evaluate and choose a machine to buy. Funds are only available for one model, right? So we have our cash inflows here, all right? We have our cash inflows here. So they've told us calculate the cost of oh, the cost of capital is twelve percent, and Salamano depreciates all its fixed assets on the straight line basis, all right? By cost of capital. By cost of capital is meant what it costs to raise the required finance for the project right so we have to evaluate these using the average rate of return right so we're going to focus on machine Z okay so it's going to cost 800,000 okay these are the cash inflows at the end of year one expect to get 150,000 end of year two, 200,000, okay. Then the scrap value at the end of year six, all right, for this machine is going to be 80,000, all right. So now we have to calculate the average rate of return. So the formula for the average rate of return is, Average profits from an investment divided by the average book value of the investment and multiply that by 100%. Right. So we're going to do that. Let's just get the table. Okay, so this is for machine Z. This is the table we have for machine Z. We've got the cash inflows, right? 800,000, this is what we're going to pay, right? And then this, this is the money we're going to be expecting after we've paid for the machine. So now to calculate the average rate of return, we're going to first make a table. Right, so the first column will have year, and then the cash flows, and we have depreciation, and we'll have it in the thousands. And we have profit so in the thousands. All right, so we're going to list year one, two. Okay, so we've got the cash flows. Right here, one is hundred and fifty thousand. Okay, two two hundred thousand. Three, 
a four two hundred a five hundred then year six to fifty. So the first thing is we're going to calculate the depreciation. Okay, I believe it was stated that it was the straight line method. Yes, the straight line method. All right, so say depreciation equals cost minus scrap value divided by the number of years. Okay, so the cost is 800,000, right? We just write it as 800 minus the scrap value is 80, okay? Minus 80, divided by the number of years, and this is six years. Okay, we can get our calculators, 800 minus 80 divided by six. We're going to get 120,000, all right? So we just write it as 120. Was well, someone about to give me the answer? Hundred and twenty, hundred and twenty, hundred and twenty, hundred and twenty. Right. So profit. Now to get our profit. Remember, profit is okay. The cash flow. Okay. Depreciation. We use the formula cost minus scrap value divided by the number of years. Yes. Then yes, so you're supposed to get hundred and twenty. Okay, then now after I calculate the depreciation, okay, next you're going to calculate now the profits. Because remember, in the average rate of return, we are focused on the profits, okay? Remember, shareholders are the ones who are concerned about their profits. If you are not making profits, people won't want to buy shares, okay? And vice versa. All right, so. Profits first will say 150 minus 120,000, we get 30,000. Okay. 100 minus 120, we're going to get 80,000. 250 minus 120, get 130,000. Those two years. Then 200 minus 120 was going to get 80,000. Right? 100 minus 120 were going to get negative 20,000. Okay. So this year in year five, they're going to actually make a loss. Okay. So we'll put like that to represent negative represents a, a loss. Okay, then 250 minus 120, we're going to get 130,000, right? So, calculate the average accounting profit. We're going to total up our profits, all right? We total them up, and then we'll divide it by the number of years, okay? So first, let me write the formula here. 
So the average profit will equal to the total profit divided by the number of years. So we calculate our total profit, okay? So we we'll say 30 plus 80 plus 130 plus 80 plus negative 20, right? Plus 130, I'm going to get 430,000. Can we confirm that's the value we're getting when we add these numbers up? Okay, so so the total profit is four hundred and thirty thousand. All right. So what we're going to do is say we're going to say four hundred and thirty divided by six Four thirty divided by six. That's seventy one point six. Seventy one point six. All right. We can round it off to seventy two. Okay. This is seventy two thousand. All right. Like we're just going to write it like this. Seventy two. Okay. So that's our tot our average profit. After we find our average profit now, we want to find our average investment, okay? Our average investment. Okay, so the average investment. Average investment equals the cost, all right, of the investment plus the scrap value. Divided by two. All right. So the cost of the investment is uh, eight hundred thousand. The scrap value is eighty. All right. And you divide that by two. So we we'll say eight hundred plus eighty. All right. Eight hundred plus eight is eight hundred and eighty. So eight eighty, all right, eight eighty divided by two we get four forty. Four forty. Right. So now to get the accounting rate of return. Right, accounting rate of return, we're going to get the average profit. Average profit divided by the average investment and remember the average investment times hundred. All right, so I'm going to say average profit was seventy two. <laughs> Divided by average investment, which is 440, multiplied by 100. So 72 divided by 440, I'm going to get 0 0.163. All right, 0 0.163, 0 0.1636. All right, and then we multiply that by 100, we're going to get 16.3 percent. 16.3 percent, all right, which can just round up to 16 percent. Okay, 
So now we can go to our criteria, all right? If we say it's greater than the cost of capital, we accept, all right? Or we can also compare the average rate of return for machine Z with machine F, all right? And we see which one is greater. So let's first check the cost of capital was, um, the cost of capital was 12%, uh, all right? So it's greater than the cost of capital. Okay, 16% is greater than 12, so we accept. Now let's also compare it with uh, with the average rate of return of the other machine. Okay. of capital. So we accept. Okay, so we'll go to other solutions here. Let's see here. Okay, what was the average rate of return for Z? It's so uh, machine. This was machine F. Its average rate of return is seventeen percent. Machine Z. Our, uh, its average rate of return is 16%. So between these two machines, you would go with machine F, okay? Between these two machines here, okay? These two machines, you're going to go with machine F because its average rate of return is 17%.